everybody it's bob boob the real estate guy okay actually this guy over here is bob boob the real estate guy oh my gosh what a neat place to be videotaping here today for you video recording because i'm not really taping anymore am i okay here this is pine creek pine creek pine creek right here i'm at 120 pine lane l-a-n-e that's jersey shore and of course here i'm looking up the creek or north here i'm looking down or south this would be looking east this would be looking more west but when you uh come up 44 north you'll make a left here some of us old timers will know that is pal's taxidermy um but you'll cut in there and then when you come in you'll see here the house there on the right you can park in the driveway here if you want to but also the lot over here is part of it um there'd be dimensions online but i think it's about a half acre here but this area here with the shed the yard area so here i'm looking east this is all part of it as well and when you come over here you can see there's like a little courtyard area here sitting spot there's a swing kind of a neat neat layout we're just got a one car garage it's a story and a half two-story house property and then here we come up right onto the front porch area and i'm gonna take you right inside here so when you first come inside it's like a foyer or mudroom you kick off your shoes and that sort of thing nice uh coat closet but you don't get a lot of properties for sale up here in the pine creek pine creek area so this is really like i said that's why it's fun to do this one here and show you guys but when you come in you can see it's tile floor dining room area got bar stool area over there and we come in we don't really have kind of two living room den areas this is the larger one right here and then that has a i think that's a propane log and that's either propane or electric i'll have to double check on that but as you can see look at this isn't this absolutely just beautiful there's pine creek right there you can see there's a patio area out there um yeah as i kind of spin around here so many things i want to tell you but i don't want to get too fast here miss anything here either so you can, you can see here big living room gosh guys i must say 6 12 this is probably good 16 17 by jesus probably about 24 20 24 feet across there but let me take you back here in the kitchen area before i forget so here we still have the dining room that area that door takes us out to the garage that takes us upstairs to the uh to the bedrooms up there um as you can see here we have another fireplace and here we have a granite, some sort of stone, I think that's granite, countertop. Absolutely beautiful, nice, uh, I'm going to call them a hickory or a chestnut. It's a it's a lighter colored wood. It's really pretty in my opinion. Um, and I am an expert in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> one of my retired agents, Porky Williamson, always said opinions are like rear ends. Everybody has one. So that's, uh, that's what I think there. But isn't this nice? You're going to get the double sink, dishwasher. Uh, nice refrigerator there, stove, a microwave built in, and the appliances are included. And you can see here's that deck I came in on earlier in, in the distance. You can see the super cool, awesome red Jeep. Isn't this nice though? So there's a couple different directions. I think what I'm going to do, let me, let me push pause. I'm going to take you upstairs and show you, and then we'll finish the tour inside here and the basement, and then we'll go outside and See if you can stir up any deer or anything. All right, be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay, so now I'm upstairs. Here are the steps I just walked up. I'm probably going to call this the primary bedroom. I guess it's probably the biggest of the rooms here. But it also has a little half bathroom. All the bedrooms have big, beautiful windows with not lots of sunlight coming in them. During the day, not much sunlight coming in at night. <laughs> little half bath there pedestal sink so that's why i'm going to kind of call this the the primary bedroom these all have electric baseboard in them and of course you have those fireplaces downstairs and i haven't even shown you this yet but the pellet stove down in the basement so then we come in here now i need to see where the wall is there where that chair is this is what they call a captured bedroom because you walk in here and here's a bedroom. Again, lots of sunlight coming in. 
there you can see the metal roof on the part that's on the back. But I think the primary roof is composition shingle. So a couple different roof styles. It's a really pretty bed, isn't it? I don't know if you can see that intricate, intricate, I like that big word for Bobby Booby, woodwork on there. It's pretty neat. But then we have the second area here, second room off this. So this actually could be a fourth bedroom, I suppose, if you wanted it to have its own bedroom. You could do it off that hall where we were talking, so you could punch open a door there, close this off. Or you could leave this open. This could be a very large walk-in closet. A lot of different uses. Of course, you can tell they um, they use it for the bunk room. Oh, yeah, and there you can see that's got the shingle roof there on the primary part of the house and there you again you can see out there looking at the creek Any fish jumping okay this is really fun okay as far as financing programs go i don't see any reason why it won't qualify for any of the financing programs the house is in really good repair so nothing's jumping out at me this way now here we have a full bath so you got a nice size vanity it's probably a Three footer there or 36 inches. And of course, the throne, little storage area. And you got the shower there. And I don't know, yeah, here again, see, we can see that part of shingle roof. All right. Then we come here, and this would be again the third bedroom or the fourth bedroom, depending on how you're counting them so far. And then here we have that steeper roof. So this is where it's catching on that. And again, got the electric baseboard heat. Again, another nice view of the of the creek. So this would be our other bedroom up here. So we have four rooms up here, three, four bedrooms, depending on how you're counting those out. And then you got one full bath and one half bath. Okay, let me push pause and I'm going to go back downstairs. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so now I'm coming back down the steps. Here's that front entrance, just kind of orient where you're at. Here we're coming back into the dining room area. It's nice. Wood staircase going up to those bedrooms. All right, take a look out here. This takes us out to the garage. This door here is actually just a closet area for underneath the steps, just so you can see what's there. And we step down a couple steps here to come into the garage. So it's a one car garage, but it's very high. Matter of fact, the current owners have taken advantage of that height and they have a lot of shelves to put the goodies uh, around there. And you can see done a nice job maximizing the storage space. Then this is a sliding door, like a barn door, they call it. Okay, but I've left it open for the video. And then so you can open that garage to head right back towards the the creek, the creek side of the property. So here you kind of have a a workbench area that you can work on. Of course, all storage for kayaks and canoes, that sort of thing. I have some of those if you're gonna live by the by the creek, huh? Okay, so let's continue on our adventure. We still having fun? I hope we are. Isn't this exciting? So we come back inside, and again, just a really pretty brick fireplace. Give you a little better look at that right there. You see that? So very nice. We come back into that kitchen area. Again, just love the color of the cabinets and the granite countertops. So now we come back in here, and this is kind of a, a laundry room. There's a utility sink, but we pick up an extra bath. Now, this is a three-quarter bath, so it has a shower in it. I guess that's an appraiser thing. I don't think anybody ever talks like that. Hey, can I use your three-quarter bath? So this has a nice shower. They just say, can I use your bathroom? So you got three bathrooms. Oh, there's some goofy guy following us around. So you actually have three bathrooms in this house, a half, a three-quarter, and a full. Now, this is kind of neat. This is a window seat here. Got some storage area underneath. There are kids playing hide-and-seek. And again, more windows. Just windows all over the place. Lots of sunlighting. Just, boy, this... Oh, God really gave me a good day for this video tour, didn't he? Okay, so I want to kind of show you here. So we keep going down. That's actually... It's actually one of the nicest utility sinks I've ever seen in my career. That's really nice. So then we continue down... Now here is an additional room, like a den. Again, look at that. Isn't that just awesome towards the creek? But that's that living room we were in. But let me show you down here. Take you down into the, the dungeon area. What do I got hiding behind here? 
Ooh, let's look, see what this is. I haven't opened this up yet. Oh, it's the panel box. Okay, lots of electric stuff. So it's a big 200 amp service. Looks like everything's marked off really well. Uh, so apparently these are nice people. Some people sold their houses and they have nothing marked off. So you got to figure out whatever breaker is as you need to turn on and off a breaker. Okay, so we come down here. A couple things to point out. You've got workbench area here. Um, looks like uh, that's some sort of a wood or um, water softener. It says Kenmore on that. Um, sometimes up the creek here, they can have iron in the water. So I'm going to assume that's what it's for. I know, I know, I know. Assuming gets you in trouble as a realtor. But um, water softener there. That's an expansion tank for the well. Because, of course, you have well up here. So we keep spinning around here. There's electric hot water heater. And then you have a block foundation. You know, I don't know when the new windows were put in. But these are the thermal windows throughout. But it's one of the ways we tell cheapskates... Uh, from people that aren't cheapskates, they actually replace the window in the basement. The basement windows in the attic, a lot of times people don't change out. I'm one of those cheapskate people that a lot of times doesn't do that. But these people are not cheapskates. And they do it. They do it right. Now, here we continue into the, it's really more than a crawl space area. But underneath in here to the basement, this is all block foundation in here. But here you have a wood pellet stove. You can see it's got a big hopper on the back, so that's nice. You could fill that bad boy up and probably go a couple days before you have to have to touch it again. It looks like that's where the septic line is going out. From when I talked to the owner, I think the septic line is actually going across the street um, to about where that parking area was then. I don't know exactly where that is, but giving you kind of an approximate. So this is the dungeon. This is where all the spiders and the creepy crawlers hang out, but actually they've got it cleaned up pretty nice then. All right, guys, let me do this. I'm going to push pause, get spider out of my hair, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So now I'm back in that den area, with, which has got windows the whole way around it here. And then you got a big uh, storm door there. Just want to kind of peek you back in here. See where we're at? That living room area. And then this is where we can step out to the patio area that has just an absolute... Gorgeous view of Pine Creek. Isn't that really nice? So here I'm looking south down the creek. Looking down the creek. As I scan here, you can see they have a set of steps there. They have it up um, for right now, but eventually that'll go back down into the, the water. Just want to kind of take my time and show you. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but... It's called quiet. It's hard to get quiet sometimes, but it's actually quiet right now while we're doing this. Sometimes quiet bothers Bobby Booby, but a lot of people like quiet. So then here, just to kind of show you, this is a little bit of a screened in area here. And if you can see in there, there's that garage door. So this little screened in area, you could, oh, there's a paddle boat. I didn't see that earlier. I should have set up the paddle boat to show you guys. Earlier when I was stomping around, I found a, let me see, it's right, I don't know if you guys can see that, can you see that pink marker right above the block? That has a William Hilling Surveyor cap on it. So that must be, let's see, that would be your northwest um, side there. But isn't it just, isn't it just beautiful, guys? Again, guys, goofy guy's reflection. I'm trying to think. I showed you the outside. showed you the inside up. Basement. Guys, I... Yeah, that's the video tour. Certainly, if you want to do a private show and get a hold of me, or maybe you've got um, some questions on how financing will work. Maybe you have a house to sell. You're curious what that would bring. You know, please just, uh, you know, get a hold of me then. Um, of course, get the rails to trails there across the creek so you gotta swim over that but uh man just it again it's just one of those places i just i don't want to stop recording because i'm just having so much fun just uh, showing you guys around here but i know that's probably not what you guys want to do but again my name is bob boob i work with century 21 first choice realty it's been my pleasure to hang out with you for a little bit today have a good day Bye bye